What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Basics with Ben tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the Tween Manager script to create your own custom animations within Lens Studio without having to do any coding. Now the Tween Manager script creates programmatic animations, which means it's not going to take up any extra space on your lenses. And it's built to work side by side with the Behavior script, which allows you to create some custom user interactions in your lenses. We'll talk about the Behavior script in another video. So let's jump right into the project. Alright, so the first thing we'll need to do is add the Tween Manager script to our scene. So in the Objects panel, click Add New, Helper Scripts, Tween Manager. So we'll want to drag the Tween Manager script to the top of the scene to make sure that the script executes first. Inside the Tween Manager, you'll see some example tweens. So there's several types of tweens that you can use in the project. The Tween Transform allows you to move, scale, or rotate any scene object. With Tween Color, you can dynamically change a scene object's color. Tween Alpha will dynamically change the opacity of a scene object, allowing you to fade it in and out. Tween Screen Transform is similar to Tween Transform, but will only work on 2D images based on the device's screen size. The Tween Chain allows you to group multiple tweens together to create a single triggerable animation sequence. When you're familiar with the example tweens, go ahead and delete them. We'll be creating a 3D sphere and using the Tween Transform script to animate it. One way to automatically play a tween is by selecting the scene object you would like to animate, and then in the Inspector panel, click Add Component, Script. Click Add Script and find the tween type you would like to use. For this example, we use the Tween Transform type. You can also drag the script from the Resources panel directly into the Inspector panel. We'll be moving the sphere, so we'll keep the type on Move, and change the movement type to offset. Now we can select the amount we want to move our object on the X, Y, and Z axes. We can adjust the speed of the animation by moving the time number up and down, as well as add a delay. The easing functions also allow us to customize how the object moves between the start and the end values. We'll keep this one at quadratic. So then we'll look through the loop types. Loop will make the animation play forever. Ping Pong will make the animation play until the end, then reverse back to the beginning. Ping Pong Once will make the animation play and reverse just one time. Let's set the loop type to Ping Pong and see how it moves back and forth between the start and the end values. Another tween example is the tween alpha which fades objects in and out. To test it, let's add a screen image. In the Objects panel, click Add New, Screen Image. We'll select a texture for the image and then add the tween alpha script. To fade it in, we'll just need to keep the values as they are and adjust the time and the delay. If we want to fade it out, we can just reverse the start and the end values. So by using the Tween Manager script, you'll be able to animate your lenses quickly and easily, which will make your lenses look much more immersive without having to take up any extra space. And of course, no coding required.